Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Scott K. Let's face it, mechanical keyboards have become fairly mainstream now. Everyone has one. But they're not all the same, right? The real nice stuff is still mostly grouped by. So what happens if you want a true custom mech, but you don't want to build it? Or you can't even tell the difference between a stabilizer and a switch. And at the same time, you don't want the same key crown that your coworker Karen has in the next cube because she's basic. Well, then you could get something like this. The pre-built Lumen Key 75 by Create Keeps. I haven't covered too many pre-builds on this channel, but I figured this one, it may be a good option for those that may want a custom, but don't really want to go through the trouble of one. So let's do a quick pre-built review today, shall we? So as mentioned before, the Lumen Key 75 can be had as a bare bones or fully pre-built. So regardless of which way you go, the hard part is mostly done for you or all of it's been done for you. The Lumen Key 75 is made by a familiar manufacturer, Create Keeps, also responsible for Thera 75 or the beautiful Glacier 80. Packaging it comes in is also very nice and upscale overall. Great presentation. The version I have is the fully pre-built with the keycaps and switches installed. In addition to the keyboard, you get accessories, right? Like the common cables or switch pullers and such and stuff like that. Now, the keyboard itself. I have the white one, but it also comes in black. The LumenKey 75, it's a 75% gasket mounted custom mechanical keyboard. And I can tell you this, this is nothing like a simple GMMK or a Keychron or Iconix that you can just kind of buy off the shelf. The LumenKey 75 is a legit custom keyboard, it's just pre-built for you. And you're probably wondering, how much does this thing cost? Well, in bare bones, it costs around $196, and with everything included, like keycaps and everything like that, it's $258. So it's not a cheap keyboard, but it's $100 cheaper than the GMMK Pro pre-built, which I still don't understand why it even exists, or slightly more than the popular Keychron Q1, depending on the version. The keyboard case is made of anodized or E-coated aluminum, and has a lot of interesting design elements to it. It's actually solid aluminum, no plastics. First of all, like these bevels they included helps the keyboard look a little bit more dynamic and unique. The upper and lower case is delineated by like this one dividing line, as you can see right here. It also has an exploded arrow cluster, so you can find it easily without looking for it. Finally, the most interesting feature of it all is the knob. Instead of like rotating it left and right, it's a scroll wheel, you know, like in case you want to scroll more than your mouse, now you could scroll your keyboard too. The wheel is programmable along with the keyboard through QMK or Vial. So yes, you can literally make it be another scroll wheel if you want to, if you desire. Now, let me further show you why the Lumen Key 75 is different from like some of the other pre-builds out there. It's actually the components. First of all, the keycaps here are nice. They're Cherry Profile Double Shot PBT made by who? None other than EPBT. They make very nice keycaps. Very crisp lettering and similar matrix molding like the GMMK keycap sets you see out there for a lot of money. The switches, they're pre-looped Gateron Baby Raccoons with the long stem pole. These are like the new lineup of linear switches from Gateron and they use like the updated modes as well as like the new updated lubing process to make them super smooth, just straight out stock. Think of it as like an alternative to like the great Gateron yellows. The stabilizers, instead of using some BS GMMK GOAT stabs, the Lumen Key uses actual Gateron screw in stabs. And these are around like $25 by themselves, right? So, if you consider a set of EPBT keycaps to be like 80 bucks, let's say, the switch is like $45, stabilizers around like 25 bucks, you have $150 worth of components right here. Then the keyboard only becomes like 100 bucks. Now it's starting to make a lot of sense, right? You're getting a keyboard in a fairly decent price range with enthusiast level components, so I don't think you could lose there. Now, you're probably thinking, looks pretty good from the outside, but how is it built inside? I'll show you. But before we do that, a quick word from our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is an online service that helps you print PCBs, do 3D printing, or even CNC machining. If you're an aspiring keyboard designer or whatever else designer, you can take your design and simply upload it to get something made quick. Or, if you have the source code for a PCB that you already have and you need a replacement, you can also get that done as well. They can handle all types of PCBs from your simple single layer designs to multi-layer stacks. Beyond PCBs, if you want to try making your own case, PCBWay can machine that as well. 
Now, a very exciting new service that PCBWay offers, OEM. Instead of just making a single component, you can actually test PCBWay to be an OEM manufacturer and make the whole thing. They can do anything from PCBs to CNC cases to even assembly. And using global manufacturing, they can offer very competitive prices. Is there a keyboard keyboard on the horizon? Well, check out OEM at PCBWay. So me being a naturally curious person, I decided to take this thing apart. With the keycaps and switches removed, you can start to see what this is all about. Yes, got legit PC plates here, and I could also see that it has plate foam, it has PE foam, and case foam also, like a legitimate custom keyboard. And flipping it over, it shows a nice brass weight. Yes, it's actually real brass. The board doesn't have perky RGB, but it has this little RGB corner. I don't know why, because you can't even see it when it's on. So it's kind of a waste in my opinion, but I don't know. But open up the upper case and you get this. Yes, this thing uses legit gasket socks on the plate. Not like some OG pour on foam. So expect a nice poppy sound signature. With it open, you can also see that this crazy scroller contraction, what it's all about right here. With the plate and PCB assembly removed, I can also see the case below and it has foam. So it has both the under PCB foam as well as the case foam. Okay, okay. Then with that removed, I see that it has an aluminum cover. Under it, I found a foam chamber. So I feel like they did this so they could potentially make this into a wireless version in the future and they could hide the batteries in there. So that's very nice. And it has a daughter board, which is also good for a keyboard at this price point. The PCB is standard with no flex cuts or anything like that. And it features Gateron hot swap sockets, which are very similar to Kale. So at this point, I can confirm that this is a legit group pie level custom keyboard that some dude somewhere already built out for you. Then what about the typing experience and the sound? Well, I did mention before that the Lumen Key 75 is a gasket mounted keyboard, right? So yes, naturally it does have flex and bounce that you can expect from a modern gasket keyboard. Those silicone socks do a pretty good job and PC plates are flexible. Let's check out then how this thing sounds. You know, the Lumiki 75 does have a nice sound. Yes, it has quite a bit of foam, so it does have a foamy sound signature, but I feel like that's what a lot of the newcomers actually like and are looking for now. The sound profile is nice and crisp, and I feel with some deeper sounding switches, this can also be a pretty thocky boy also if that's what you're looking for. So. I know I don't cover too many pre-builds on this channel, but I hope you can see the reason why I decided to do this one. I think if you're starting out in this hobby, want something a little bit more special than like off-the-shelf pre-builds, I know there's a lot of good ones out there, but want to really like dabble with customs but don't want to do the work, Lumen Key 75 is that keyboard perfect for you. I initially thought $258 for a pre-build, that's a lot. Then looking at all the components and just seeing what this thing really is, it's a true group by keyboard with decent components that someone already built for you. Then 258 is not that much at all. Like it's very, very reasonable. And from what I know, in the US it'll be like hosted by Canon keys. So which means that the, the shipping won't be like crazy either. So it makes a lot of sense in that situation. So if you're a keep enthusiast with like 30 keyboards deep, you probably don't need this. Unless you want to like gift it to a friend that's been like bugging you for a keyboard but you don't want to do it because you're lazy, then yes, you could just buy this and be like, I built this thing for you, right? Or if you're just starting out and can't really tell the difference between a stab and a, the other end of a screwdriver, yes, start right here. You won't be disappointed. You won't grow out of this thing anytime soon. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll have more content for you in the future. Thanks.